Hey everyone, Jaybear1000 here. Today we're going to be checking out these Motorola's, the walkie talkies. It's supposed to have a 35 mile range. I don't believe that, especially not around all these trees. A friend of mine, Ryan, gave these to me, but we're going to check them out. So I want to show you what all the functions do. I can't show you everything they, they do because this would be an hour long video. This thing, these things are, are awesome. They do a lot of stuff. So let's check them out. Okay, so I've downloaded the manual onto my phone. The MR350 slash 351, the KEM PK29901 01C. Okay, so now these do work. The only issue they have is the antennas are broke, but they're both here, and this one does not have the belt clip. This one does. So I'm just going to like hot glue them antennas in because you, if I super glue them, they'll just keep breaking. They have to move a little bit. This one does have the belt clip. They both turn on fine. And they're both at full charge. And they also have a flashlight. It does not have to be turned on to use the flashlight. So let's go over some of these buttons and what they do real quick. And then we're going to have Monkey take off in the car and talk to us and see how far she can get. So, uh, of course, you have your volume and power on off right there. Uh, right here you have emergency. That's emergency alert. You only want to use that top red button if it's an emergency. Um, you have an LED indicator right there on top. Right there. There it is. Um, let me see here. Um, I showed you um, there is an accessory jack here that you can put headphones into um, this is the flashlight button right here it turns the flashlight on uh, let me see you've got your your scan monitor button right there and Right here you have menu and lock button. You can lock that so it can't change the channels. Um, and of course I showed you there's the flashlight down there. On this side you have micro USB port also for charging. This is an accessory so someone paid extra for that for the charging dock. Uh, let me see. Then you got your scroll, your scroll button, your power, your uh, up and down buttons here this one is also a weather station button you can get your weather channel on there you can change your call tone to different tones um, and right here is your microphone that little little hole right there is your microphone um, this this is push to talk this bottom one push to talk low the top one is push to talk high so that's pretty much everything there is on that other than what it does but I will show you these things do a lot of cool stuff you hold this uh, plus button for three seconds there's the weather station so <clears throat> that's pretty cool uh, you can change the weather station as soon as I get this figured out here. I had it figured out. Let me see. I might have the button locked on that one. Let's see here. Friday night, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs around 80. Lows around. 
and now <clears throat> so we can get um, these, that'll be handy for us when we go camping and we don't have service on our cell phones we can find out what the weather is like okay so all right let's uh we'll turn this on we'll turn this on check 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 I'm too close check 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 then this one check 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 all right so let's get these outside and let's try them out okay guys so monkey's in the car she's getting ready to go we got a camera rolling in there and I got the dash cam on so we can see about how far I also set the trip odometer so we'll know how far these things are getting out are you ready monk Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. And she's off. So what she's going to do, there's a couple parks up here at the end of the road. One park, she's going to let me know when she gets to that one. That's the end of this street. And then you turn, and there'll be another park. And a stop sign, she's going to let me know when she gets there. And then she's going to turn, and she'll be going... Ooh. And then she'll be going on to another road that leads to the river. The river's about six miles from here. I don't think we're going to get much more than the park at the end of the street, which is not a mile. So, But we'll see because of all these trees and everything. But we'll see um, when she lets us know she's having trouble. She won't. She'll either push a button after she starts talking or... She pushes the button, then lets go and talk. So I can I just hold the button and talk. <laughs> I don't know. So that'd be cool if she got all the way to the river, but I don't think she will with all these trees. And we're kind of two thirds up a hill. So, but she's on top of the hill. But uh, there's all these big trees around here. So. She would have been up the park by now. Okay, I'm at the first park at the stop sign. Okay, go to the second park. I can hear you, but you're good. Yeah, no, you're breaking up too. Just keep going. That might be it. She should be at the second park because it's only like a block from the first park. The second park's not really a park, you just kind of got a picnic table there and a basketball court. The other park does have stuff for kids to play on, it's got swings and the jungle gym and stuff. Where are you at now? Okay, I'm at the second park. <laughs> Did you get Where that? You at, that Mom? I was at the second park. Monkey. I do not hear you. Monk, can you hear me? 
when she comes back, we'll have... Now I'm going towards the river. If I don't hear you, you I will turn around. Anyway, when she comes back past, we'll have her go down to the end of the street here. I'll check the mileage. Then we'll have her go down the end of the road here to the um, to the gas station. All right, I'm gonna turn around because I do not hear you. You I'm can hear me. Go ahead and turn Field around. Drive, which is not that far from the left turn there. I'm going to turn around because he did not respond to any of that. I, I don't know why, um, but it should have went this far, I think, but he didn't think it would because of the trees, so, um, yeah, but, I mean, I think it will be great for us if we're camping, but if we're in the forest, like in, in like, let's say, a deep forest or something, I don't think they're going to work. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, it didn't even get that far. We do have a lot of trees here. But, um, for interference. But I think if we're, like, not that far away from each other. You know, maybe I'm on a trail and he's stayed at the camp. You know, maybe I might get a little bit of it. But I don't think it's going to be a, a good contact so we turned around Oops. and uh, yeah, we've done that so. uh, okay I have turned around okay she just turned around. Now I hear you real good there. So I don't know where she's at. at. Where the um, pet place is over here. So that's pretty good. And there's trees all the way down through there too. So that's kind of impressive. I'm getting ready to turn right. I'm back at the Winter Lake Park. Just going by it now. Where are you at now? I'll just ask her when she comes back where she turned around at. But I'll go by the last good transmission, which was where she turned around. So. And then I'll just knock the mileage off half you know what I mean so and that'll give me how far of a range that this I mean, these things can I, put I think out. that would be great for the radio to hear that um, <coughs> if, excuse me if we're not too far away from each Never other centered. we can use them <laughs> but if we're deep in a forest I don't think that'll work okay I turn back on our straight Okay, just stop in front of the house, but don't turn in the driveway yet. I don't know. So she just turned on our street. So. That's kind of impressive, having all these trees around. Um, would it go 35 miles on, like, out west in the desert? It might. I, I doubt it, but, you know, I mean, that's pretty impressive with all the... And then, you know, we've got all this interference. We've got all the power lines and um, Wi-Fi and all that stuff, you know, all the way up and down through here. So, uh, we do have a cell phone tower about a mile over that way. Actually, if we look out the door at night, we can see the light blinking on it <clears throat> through the trees. So, um, that's a lot of interference.
Yeah, I just set the trip odometer. We are back in front of the house here. He didn't want me to park. What's the, the mileage? Um, <laughs> She's looking. She's right here. Yeah, of course. You didn't ask me. Didn't show it. 2.3 miles. 2.3 miles. Yeah, so we're going to have to park the car. Okay, head down to the gas station and talk to me once you get there. Two point three miles. So that's about a mile and an eight. Approximately. So we'll see what she does when she gets down here. See how well that comes in down here. Let's go out here. I'll show you where she's going. She's heading down that way. I don't know if you can see her or not, but. So these things will pick up in this area, which is a poor area, to try to get out on a walkie-talkie, and that's all your antenna is. Um, that's pretty impressive with all the all the stuff around the trees being on it, you know, being blocked by a hill. Okay, I'm at the gas station. Okay, um, do me a favor. Head up to uh, the tire store, the tire shop, and turn around where we get our tires done. Let me know when you get there. All right, take me a minute. So, yeah, it's it's hard to get out down here. There's so much traffic. Um, but, yeah, so... So, we're going to go on the main was, road right here. There's a bell. And, and that's, go to the top that's as far that the way as so the first part that is that way. She was coming in loud and clear so there. You can get it just but see we're higher than the she is right now. Between so. all the trees and not yeah. really having a bunch of trees. I guess that's his idea. She's gonna she's gonna Okay, I'm right in front of it. Are you turning around or do you want to go straight up to where Kmart used to be? I wanna go up to, to near Kmart and then I'll turn around. Okay, let me know when you get there. Okay, dokey. Go up here, a little ways. I'm gonna go to the, used to be Kmart Plaza. Kmart is no longer there. Which I miss it because I moved here and, you know, I had Kmart. I went up there, it was very convenient because it wasn't that far from the house. And never had a Kmart that close. And I think maybe I had it for a year there, and they closed it. So, it kind of sucked. We're going over this bridge. I know you guys can't see. She's going to let me know when she gets there to turn around, so. I've been wanting to know what that was going to be. They closed down in a restaurant that's been here forever. And um, not one that, I think we were there once. And I wasn't really too impressed with their food. But they closed it down. And it looks like they're going to reopen it over here. So it's going to be closer to the house. Okay, I'm in the Kmart Plaza area near Planet Fitness. Okay, see when you when you go in there you go down in. So that's why she's breaking up. Okay, come on back. Yeah, it's kinda like Can you hear me? The road's up here and then the plaza is down. You, I guess you he go can't hear in. me this far. Oh yeah, that's where we get our fishing stuff at too. Uh, that's that's not there's a bait. You can buy bait. <laughs> they got all kinds of stuff. Um, they sell yeah, trolling motors, go fishing far. gear. We're talking fishing poles, Obviously fishing reels, anything you want. It's huge. Um, so now we're it's called turn uh, 41 Bait and Tackle. So. And uh, they moved from 
across town over there closer to where we are now so it's it's a cool place man so that place is still open it's still there they just moved what a year or so ago maybe two years if that so yeah that's uh so they're still in there but remember when you pull into that plaza it goes down in so that's probably why it broke up there but as soon as you was pulling in you were coming in loud and clear he's trying to talk but it's just static now may I get a little closer I should be able to hear him again so this is too far for these I mean you gotta remember he's at the house so, so yeah I'm kind of impressed with him I mean for all we're going to do with him it's going to be fine. You know, I'll use these. Like, like if she ever drops me off at, like a couple times she dropped me off at a house to film. And she went on down the road. I can get a hold of her on this. And like I said, the main thing for these is weather. That's going to be awesome. i got to find out what channel is closest to us. And then we can know what's going on with the weather when we're out camping and our cell phones don't have... Um, service because sometimes I don't know what it is down here we can be passing a cell phone tower oh, it looks like it's going to rain we can be passing a cell phone tower and, and, and not have service okay I'm right by the uh, tire place now okay yeah um, you did not hear me at the Kmart Plaza at all did you yeah, I heard you when you pulled in, but remember, that goes down in. Right, right. Yeah, when you were pulling in, you were loud and clear. But uh, average Joe... Okay, I'm back on our street now. Okay. Yeah, what he's saying down, you go down a hill, and it kind of goes down and so you're lower so maybe that's the reason why you can't hear um, couldn't hear him, so that's still a good distance from here to the tire place i think that's a pretty good distance average joe's is uh where we go get our tires now he used to work for a place over by walmart which is clear on the other side of town and they shut down he ended up opening his own place and and most of the time when you go there, I mean, his place is like down in off the road farther from what we are from this road. And he'll be, they'll be, they'll be parked alongside the road waiting to go in, waiting in line to go in. So he's doing really well. He treats us good. Um, and even his used tires, he has a warranty on them. So there she is. All right, cool. So I'll ask her where she turned around at. Guys. Need to get the mileage that we went out for some day. What's the mileage now? It was five. Where is it? Five point seven miles. 5.7 miles. Okay, yeah. so I'll figure that out and put it across the screen here of how far she went that way, which is behind you guys. So, kind of impressed with all these trees and everything. 
Yeah, I think it did pretty good, <laughs> really. I mean, and we still got hill here. Yeah. Plus these trees. Yeah, you but forget the hills. When you pulled in, in to where Kmart used to be, I could hear you loud and clear. Really? Yeah, until you got down in, then you started breaking up. But remember, then you're down in a hole down in there. Right. That is true. Where'd you turn around at up there? Uh, I went down that, that first street on the right. Mm. I, I don't know. I said it in the video, so you knew. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, hang on a second. We'll be back with you. Okay, so there you guys go. Um, this last clip is going to be just a non-stop of where she went. It'll be from the dash cam, so kind of get an idea of our area. So, um, so you was past the dog park? Yes. Because they have a dog kennel and park up there that you yeah. can pay. You can actually join it. And, Mm -hmm. take, take your dog up and walk him but if you want to take your dog up and walk him they'll let you but they charge you yeah mm -hmm. they charge you to walk your dog up there it's like a club it's a kennel club yeah but so you was way past that yeah so you you was about a mile and an eighth away from me when we started breaking up mm -hmm. so that's pretty good mm -hmm. all right guys well thanks for watching monk Monkey says she's out for now. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shape better than myth, the man, a legend. I'm gone for now. I told her, I said, I said, go ahead and shut that off. And she turned it like she's supposed to. And I said, is it off? She goes, yeah, it's off. <laughs> Bye, guys. I did not get you at the Kmart Plaza at all. You didn't respond at all. He's trying to talk, but it's just static. Now, when I get a little closer, I should be able to hear him again. So, this is too far for the east. You gotta remember, he's at the house, so. I think if he, if we were hiking together and he was a, a little bit ahead of me, maybe, and I couldn't see him, I might be able to get him. But with a lot of trees around, I don't think so. Okay.